Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. We've been getting a lot of calls uh, lately on our room form and a lot of things that we, I've listed up here are going to uh, show up. So I want to kind of walk through some processes, uh, educate a little bit, get everybody uh, more conversationally competent, especially with their spouses. I think it'll save us all a lot of time. So remember, as overview, two main issues in a room, pressure and reflections. I can't make it any simpler than that because that's what it is. Everything else falls under those two headings. I don't have time to go into the differences right now, but there's two main, Roman numeral one, Roman numeral two on the outline, okay? Low frequency pressure problems take 12 to 16 inches of depth to fix. So if it's a freestanding panel, you're gonna lose that much space on the wall that it's up against. Middle and high frequency units work on airflow. They're two to six inches deep. So you can kind of think about half. Middle and high frequency is about half of what low frequency requirement is in terms of space that you have to give up. Our carbon panel is 12 inches deep, goes to 40 hertz. Give that up on two sidewalls, that's two feet. On a 15 foot dimension, you're now down to 13, right? Because you're going to put units on the sidewalls. Units are 12 inches deep. If your overall is 15, you got one, two, so you've got to subtract two, so you're at 13 foot net. That's how it works. Unfortunately, to treat a room, you have to make it smaller. I know, doesn't sound right, but that's how it is. Multiple units are usually required, too. Got to have lots of surface area coverage. Low frequency management, four walls, floor, ceiling. <clears throat> Remember our three sound fields. Sidewall, sidewall, front, rear, floor, ceiling. Treat the four walls, floor, ceiling. Mids and highs, four walls and the ceiling. Ceiling is the shortest di dimension. We're going to have a lot of mid-range reflection issues that turn into dips. You don't want dips. Peaks, you can manage. Dips are a pain in the butt. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our experience because, you know, I track data. So we've had 206 calls where the client says to us, after we spend, you know, maybe 30 minutes or 45 minutes analyzing the room and pointing them in the right direction, that they need to speak with their wives about the purchase. And we know from our data that'll never happen. We know that 206 times it's happened, and we've got zero callbacks, zero responses. So it's a time waster. So how do we fix it? How do we get this? Well, we become conversationally competent here. We, we tell our spouses that you're going to have to give up space, and you're going to have to put a lot of them on the walls if you're really going to go after it. So we don't want to waste any time. Get prior approval first. Here's what I found, because in the beginning, I used to, husband say, well, would you explain this to the wife? And I thought to myself, okay, I'm probably better at it explaining it than he is. But what I would find was that the way he explained it to her was not even close to reality. <laughs> so I basically had to start over. And I don't want to have to do that. Okay. Bad enough when people call me and at least have a little working knowledge of acoustics, but trying to explain uh, acoustics to someone who has no interest or knowledge and could care less about it, it's not good. Bird nest example, I always think of the male bird and the female bird building their nest outside my office. Male bird brings twigs back to the nest and the mama bird stands at the front of the nest with her wings folded. I'm exaggerating, for effect, and looks at the twig, and she'll grab the twig. If she doesn't like it, she'll throw it over the edge of the nest. The male bird will look left, he'll look right, he'll look at her, and he'll fly away and get another one. And that's pretty much how humans are, right? You can make that comparison, because I've seen a lot about things like that. So, you know, talk it out. Be realistic. Get prior approval, please. It's going to get to the point where with all this time wasting, I'm not going to accept calls like that. It's just, 
I don't want to, I don't have to, and I for sure don't need to. Okay, treatment space. Let's be realistic to our spouses about it so that communication and we have comprehension and understanding. So nobody's time is wasted. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.